mention Room 428 in Ohio University to any alumni or current resident of Wilson Hall Dormitory, you're guaranteed a ghost story. Ohio University is considered one of the most haunted schools in the world. Built only one year after Ohio established statehood, Ohio University's walls have witnessed plenty of tragedy. It all started in the 1970s when a student lost their life. Accounts differ when it comes to the gender of the student, but sources agree on the unexpected or unusual nature of the death. Some time after that, however, a female student lived in the dorm. Those who knew the woman claimed that she studied the occult. She allegedly used the energy of the room to speak with the dead. Forgotten over the course of decades, her name does not seem to be known. Yet, nearly every story about this woman ends in her grisly death. It is said that she drew on the power of the room one night. She wanted to astral project or speak with the dead, but somehow this resulted in her violent and bloody death. Some stories say that she slit her wrists. However, this is not a widely circulated claim. An array of supernatural phenomena after the first death in the 1970s, students experienced an array of supernatural phenomena. Frequently, students occupying the room alone would hear footsteps. Other times, objects would fly across the room and shatter against the walls. And still other accounts claim to have seen the ghost of the ill-fated occult follower. But why did the first death in room 428 occur at all? It is interesting to note that Wilson Hall sits in the center of five prominent cemeteries. When these sites are connected with a marker on a map, they form a pentagram. A pentagram is not an inherently evil symbol. It symbolizes the five elements or the god and goddess of the Wicca religion. It's considered a talisman of strength or protection from which one may draw or amplify energy. To be located in the center of a pentagram, as is the case with Wilson Hall, is a potent sign that the site is one of great importance. In the occult, it is similar to a building that resides upon crossingly lines. The cemetery another fascinating theory for the paranormal activity in room 428, Wilson Hall rests on a cemetery. Sources differ on whether this cemetery held the corpses of Native Americans or those of the Athens Mental Institute. Regardless, Everyone seems to agree that the dorm is directly on top of a graveyard. On January 9, 1874, the Mental Medical Center, then called the Athens Lunatic Asylum, first opened its doors. All was as well as it could be in a mental ward at that time. View of campus, Ohio University for many years, the patients of the institute enjoyed a peaceful atmosphere complete with fountains and gardens. As the asylum gradually became overran with patients, the quality of the institution plummeted into the dark ages. The doctors and staff grew cold and temperamental with their charges. Difficult or unruly patients were punished with icy cold dunks in tubs of water, electroshock therapies became the norm. The most wild or unmanageable patients underwent a procedure called a lobotomy permanently destroying their already broken enormous firing minds. Room 428, all of these phenomena are said to contribute to the mysterious death of the unknown student of Room 428 in Ohio University back in the 1970s. Several spiritualist experts have conducted investigations of the area. They determined that the geographical layout surrounding Ohio University, such as the outlying valleys, peaks, and mountains, served to conduct spiritual energy. The state of Ohio in general is known to be an epicenter of paranormal activity and hauntings, actually. Ohio in general is known to be an epicenter of paranormal activity. Today, room 428 in Ohio University is sealed off from students. This happened shortly after the death of the woman who practiced the occult. However, the door of the room is said to depict the face of a demon, even after the entire thing is replaced. The students currently residing in Wilson Hall are curious, as expected. Some confess that, as Halloween approaches, their eyes allow them to tour room. And when they open the door and step into room 428, each student unanimously reports. Dot a couple of dead birds. Oh, well.
There's still the constant complaints of someone walking around in the room from those living in the adjacent dorms.